So you decide what your golf YouTube channel is going to be about, and you're ready to go out and start filming, but you don't know where to start. Lucky for you, you can do this with a phone that's in the palm of your hand. One of your on-course options for filming is having a dedicated person for camera work. So this is kind of the high end of filming. It's You have someone who's carrying around a camera, and they're following you around. I would say this is probably out of reach for most golfer, most YouTube golfers to start. Then you have one where you have like a friend filming. You know, you're kind of inconveniencing them a little bit. They're helping you out. Or you could have playing partners. Now, playing partners filming your swings, your, your golf, they may not want to do it. They may. That's kind of depending on the person who you're playing with. And then you have options where you can do it yourself. So you can use a tripod, you can use, I have a clip that goes on my bag uh, or on my cart, and you can do it yourself. For my tripod, I use a um, UB size NE60. And some of the pros of the tripod is it does a great job around the greens, tee shots. Some of the cons is it can be a little bulky to carry or a little awkward, like you don't know where to put it. It doesn't like just sit on your bag. And it can be a little awkward to carry around the course. The uh, the clip, it's just sits right on your on your bag. It's here's the clip. Alright. And it's a little flimsy at times. So like your camera might or your if I'm using my phone. Um so sometimes you have to just adjust that a little bit. So that can be a little annoying. But biggest thing, it's so lightweight you don't even notice that you have it. Uh, it makes, you know, bringing it around the course super easy. Now, if you're looking to upgrade your filming, not using your phone anymore, I would recommend using the GJI Osmo Pocket 3 Creator Combo Set. Um, I think this is a great option for golfers because it's lightweight, it's got a front-facing camera, and, you know, I know I've run into where it's, I'm trying to use my phone, and it's trying to make sure, oh, I'm going to be in the shot. But, um, so I think the front-facing camera is a big plus uh, to have and the lightweight like I said with uh, like the clip or the tripod you're already carrying around your clubs you don't want to be carrying around a bunch of equipment or a bunch of heavy equipment again I'll leave a link in the description below for the DJI now after you filmed your round a lot of golfers will add uh, the shot tracer to their shots it helps the viewer see oh this is where the shot went because a lot of times it you see the ball go off the club face and can't see much more after that. So the shot tracer adds a lot of value, I think. It can be a little time consuming. It's definitely easier to do on the computer. And even then it's still not perfect. Um, on the phone and on the computer, the apps will typically will kind of make like their best estimate of where it would go and then you can adjust it on your own. Sometimes it's really good, other times it's way off and you have to basically start from scratch. Hopefully you can film some of your shots, get started, and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and be driven, get better.